This presentation is created by Martin Kostadinov. In the video we will be discussing the political factors, impacts and legacies of the Olympic Games. Mega sporting events are defined as those one-time sporting events of an international scale organized by a special authority and yielding extremely high levels of media coverage and impacts for the host country and community because of the event's significance and size. The Olympic Games in Rio reached an estimated worldwide audience of 5 billion people. The estimated cost of the Games exceeded $13 billion. There was a 75% increase in the value of the host country's major stock index during the Summer Olympics. The 2016 Rio Games had a significant and permanent urban effect on the community. Legacy research and the frameworks used to be based upon the premise that legacy is just a product of good planning and proper financing, isolated from the wider political economy and context. However, as Britain and Beacon point out, mega events do not take place in a vacuum, and as such, the success or otherwise of legacy plans are at the mercy of the local, national and, increasingly, the global political environment. It is, therefore, almost impossible for event managers to know what the situation, in terms of the global political economy, might be in the future. Which makes guaranteeing any kind of legacy very hard. A clear example of this is the Rio 2016 Games where the political and economic situation in Brazil in 2009, the year it won the bid, was far better and more stable than in 2016 when the Games occurred. However, it was impossible in 2009 for organizers to predict significant political and economic events, such as the crash in global oil and commodity prices. The political scandals and corruption allegations that led to the impeachment of their president just before the Games or even the Russian doping crisis that enveloped the Games. Therefore, proving that politics play a role in mega events. Social activism has a long history at the Olympic Games. Here are some of the highlights of large-scale politics that impacted the Games over the last 120 years. The first Olympic Games were small and relatively unimpressive by comparison to the modern ones. Germany and France needed a lot of convincing to send teams to this friendly competition. More than 20 years after the Franco-Prussian War, the two geopolitical rivals were still not on good terms. The two nations eventually did send teams and help give rise to one of the most international celebrations in human history. Despite the attention given to the first Summer Olympics, the second version was basically a side event at the 1900 World Expo in Paris, France. The event still managed to make history by being the first Olympics to feature female athletes. Women would not compete again until 1924 when the Games' governing body, the International Olympic Committee, voted to formally admit them. This decision was opposed by Turkey, Japan, France, and the United States. Despite the objections at the time, women became a permanent feature of the Games from that point forward. Boycotts have been a common way for making a political statement at the Olympic Games. In 1936, 
Spain boycotted the Berlin Games over political differences with the host country and tried and failed to set up an alternate event with labor and socialist groups. In the same year, Ireland boycotted over the division of Northern Ireland from their official team. The United States considered boycotting these games over Hitler's treatment of Jews. But a flawed fact-finding mission convinced the nation to send competitors. The two 1936 boycotts set a precedent that was used many times in the 20th century. Political activism at the Olympic Games is not just the domain of nations. Individuals have made statements about a wide range of issues including race, identity, and geopolitics. Politics has almost as long and complicated a history as the athletic competitions at the Olympic Games. Despite the lack of large-scale political boycotts or bans, the Olympic Games in the 21st century have been filled with political disputes, intrigue, and protests. The modern games are still a flashpoint for social, cultural, and political issues. When the world gathers, there is always a chance for political change, but not when it comes to terrorism. In 1972, a Palestinian terrorist snuck into the Olympic Village in Munich and took 11 Israeli athletes hostage and eventually killing two of them. Terrorism should not be a political message. And mega events should put 100% effort in their security measures. Due to the increasing size, the staging of the Olympics currently involves considerable investment in both sporting facilities and supporting infrastructure and services, such as in accommodation, transportation and telecommunications. Such a costly, complex and high-profile activity as hosting the Olympic Games involves various interests ranging from the commercial with their concern to maximize profit, to the governmental, with their concern for political, social and economic benefits. Specifically for the host cities. The benefits to be derived from staging the games can be enormous and various.